Hello, welcome to Camp Bear Reviews. Right, a classic um, British uh, real ale. Um, this is from the Oakham Brewery and it's their Oakham Ales Citra. It's coming in at 4.6% ABV. So, brewed with Citra. Um, they're claiming that it's the first British brewery to brew with Citra back in 2004. 2009 I think um, so yeah 4.6 it's 4.2 on cask there's the bottle cap let's crack this open I've not had this beer for about three or maybe four years so um, and it's going everywhere it's not good quite lively Slightly annoying, but it happens. It happens. Right. So, yeah. Um, I purchased this beer in Cranbrook in West Kent when I was v visiting my sister about a month ago. What a beer. I'm getting the aromas of the citra already, and it's quite a long way from my, f my nose. As you can see, quite carbonated. They had a slight car journey home, so maybe... That's why it went everywhere. Um, so quite carbonated, nice kind of straw, lemony colour, very clear. It's getting aroma. It's just awesome. It really is. I remember when I first tried this beer, probably. Six, yeah, about was it six years ago? Can't remember. A few, quite a few years ago. Five years ago, when it first got, when it first came out, I think they made it um, one of their core ranges in 2011. I thought it was like, oh, my word! I first tried it, I was like, that's the most hoppiest thing I've ever tried. This is before the the gradual build up of the craft beer movement whatever that is but as a regular kind of um, British real ale I thought wow that is stunning let's see if it's changed cheers not at all wow that is citrusy mmm it is such a good beer. It's got a lovely sweetness at the front end. And then them citra hops are just beautiful. Mm. It's got that citrus flavour as you'd expect being citra hops. There's a slight lemon characteristic in there. Maybe a bit of lime. There's a slight dry edge to it. Grapefruit. Very succulent beer. Very easy to get hold of. It's certainly in my local Waitrose. Um, but I really go into the other end of town and so on and so forth. But... Um, very rarely shop there to be honest with you. I only go there when I do go there is to buy a few beers. Um, go to the other supermarkets because it's just convenient. Um, yeah, let's see what it says on the back. Um, we were the first UK to brew commercially brew to commercially brew with Citra back in 2009, and such were its unique qualities. This single hop variety beer become a permanent fixture. A light refreshing beer with a pungent grapefruit, lychee and gooseberry aromas leading to a dry bitter finish. That dryness does come through. I didn't really go for the bitterness on the back end at the moment. Let's go now. Yeah, it's almost a bittersweet kind of right the way through the palate 
that bitterness is definitely intermingling with that kind of citriness in the mid palate. The hops, I don't know how much hops they use per kind of brew um, for this beer, but I would imagine it's a fair bit. It's really good beer. Um, any other information? I think Oakham is formerly brewed, this was formerly brewed in Leicestershire, which is near Rutland, I think, and then they moved to Peterborough in Cambridgeshire, North Cambridgeshire. Um, I used to live in Cambridgeshire for a few years. Um, fantastic beer scene, real ale up there. Um, any other information here? It's in a nice 500ml bottle. Let's see, get the rest of this bottle in. So, it's looking like a filtered beer. I can only imagine what this beer would be like if it was an unfiltered beer. It'd be interesting. But, it's produced, it's in supermarkets, it's for the masses. Um, would it be a good transitional beer? Personally, I think it might be a little bit too bitter. Too citrusy kind of beer for a, a Sayonaga drinker to come across. Um, it depends where your palate is. Um, some people come across the real hour. I find I found that you think something's going to be too bitter for them, and it's not. And then vice versa, you think this will be great for you, and then they try it, and then it's too bitter. So it's kind of it's all down to personal your personal palate, if you know what I mean. Um, it it might be for some. Anyway, I'm rambling on. There's plenty of other reviews of this on YouTube, um, Ginger Ale Trail, uh, which is Simon Picard, um, the Real Ale Craft Beer, Craft Beer Guide, whatever you want to, where you can call it, some of mine, I put these links below, Harry Meadows, Elvis Appleton uh, from Somerset Real Ale Reviews, um, there's quite a few, I put some selected ones down below, but Put it in the um, in the bar on uh, on YouTube, and you know there's a good plethora of reviews of this beer. But this is mine. One more taste and a rating. Oh, lovely, lovely beer. Um, I think if I was giving this a rating, it would be an eight out of ten. It's pushing a nine. If I'd done a number out of a hundred, it would be about a ninety-three or ninety-four. Ninety-five is where I give it a nine out of ten. So it's knocking on the door for a nine. Um, I can't. I might have had this on cask once. I can't remember, but I haven't had this beer at all for about two or three years, something like that. It's a great beer. It's one of my favourites. Um, one of the ones that I've been kind of really into before the craft beer kind of thing has evolved in the UK like it has now. So, an 8 out of 10, or pretty much an 8.5 out of 10 really. Right, Oakham Ale, Citra, American Pale Ale, 4.8%. Let us know what you think of that, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.